Yeah, looking back um, or thinking back to, to 2000, um, you know, again, this, it, the first three or four years uh, of the Chicago Fire, the team was uh, loaded with talent, great coaching staff. Um, and again, it put itself in great position to win championships, MLS Cup and Open Cup, as we said before. But uh, playing the Galaxy in LA, um, it was very crowded, very, very intense. Uh, we had already had some, some heated matchups with, with LA in previous years, and um, it was a good rivalry for us. Obviously, both teams loaded with talent and um, loaded with national team players. And uh, with that, you have some, some, some egos and you know, some real volatility. And, uh, it was a heated game. It was physical. Um, again, I, I look back and you saw the, the yellow card count. You, you see some red cards, some that probably should have been uh, with, with Hernandez stomping on Peter's head. Uh, but obviously, uh, I think Zach Thornton was huge on the day. And uh, when you get in those moments, it's about making plays count. And um, obviously, we were down a guy and uh, going into overtime. But uh, we, we stuck with the challenge. Bob always preached, you know being detailed and paying attention to all the little things and uh, giving yourself a, a chance to win it. First player you hugged was Carlos Bocanegra. <laughs> Talk about his get up behind the goal. Uh, he was certainly in disguise. He, he might have had a security shirt on at that point, maybe a, a hat turned around backwards if I know Bocanegra. But when you talk about the fire in, in, in those early years, it was family. And uh, I think any player that played in those teams will will say it was probably the best, the best times of, of their career, but certainly for myself. I don't think I would have accomplished any of those things uh, had I not gone to Chicago Fire and came up, came up through Project 40, which was kind of a, a new system. It's the modern day generation Adidas. Um, I was fortunate to land in Chicago. Bob Bradley uh, came, came over from DC and, and my coach at South Carolina. It, it was instrumental as, as far as me becoming a professional. And again, when you have the environment of Peter Novak, Chris Armas, Jesse, Zach, Ante, uh, Probrosny, Lumos, the, the names are are ridiculous when you start rattling off the quality and talent that we had within our group. And um, again, I, I wouldn't have done any any of that had had I not uh, come up in that environment. And certainly grateful to that organization. The fans of Chicago were were always awesome. And uh, you know, my favorite place to come back to still today.